There is sad news today about this band, the Cranberries. Their singer, Dolores O'Riordan, has died at the age of 46. The Cranberries made it big in the 90s with a string of hits like Zombie, Linger and Dreams. Our arts reporter, Yelena Adzik, joined me last hour with more on what we know about her death. We don't know a lot of details, Andrew. Uh, there hasn't been an actual statement issued as to the cause of death. And if you look on Twitter, you're not really going to get any clues because it seemed like everything was quite fine. I'm going to give you a look at one of the posts. This is one that she had up on January 3rd with her cat talking about a show that was coming up. And then on the 20th, she said this. Hi, all. Dolores here. Feeling good. I did my first bit of gigging in months at the weekend, performed a few songs at the Billboard annual staff holiday party in New York. And she goes on to say that really enjoyed it. Happy Christmas to all our fans. Hugs and kisses. Uh, and that's from Dolores O'Riordan. Now, <clears throat> this is something that for so many fans will just really be hard for them. Mm -hmm. To, to hear, to understand what happened. Uh, she has said in various interviews throughout her life that she has dealt with a lot in her life. She's had pain that she says stems back to dealing with sexual abuse for four years, starting at the age of eight. Uh, and she also admitted to suffering from anorexia. She's had nervous breakdowns, uh, suicidal thoughts over the years, as well as turning to alcohol. Again, not placing that with any uh, mm -hmm. kind of uh, context as far as what actually caused this. I'm just sharing a little bit about what she shared over her life. I'm going to give you a little bit of a look right now at an interview that she provided. This is for CBC. Uh, this was back in 2012 when she talked about her decision to stop all of the madness in her life, pick up and move to Ontario. She moved here with her children. Mm -hmm. um, some of her children still live here. She has two daughters and two sons. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a sense of some of the reflections that she had at that time about life and what's important in life. You know, I worked to live. I loved life. It's very important to always have fun, to always smell the roses. But there was a point, yeah, when I stopped having fun and it was just, uh, it became a machine. The cranberries became a machine. Yeah. I became a commodity. You know, um, I was this other person. I was reading stuff, all this rubbish about myself all the time. And it's nasty. It's completely out of control. So it was like, you know what? You are the keeper of your destiny. It's all about choices. Mm -hmm. And she, you know, she said she made the decision to move to Canada and actually have a recording studio, uh, work with in a recording studio in Ontario. She wanted to be out in the woods. She wanted to have some peace, and nature provided that for her. So, Yelna, remind us of her musical legacy. Oh, man. we, we got to talk about 1993, Andrew, because that was the year of the that seminal album, their debut. Everybody else is doing it, so why can't we? I'm going to give you a little bit of a sound up right now from Linger. You know, Andrew, when that was released in 1993, at first not much happened. And then MTV decided to play it along with Dreams in really heavy rotation and poof, everything just mm -hmm. blew up for the band. And they were, you know, pretty much the biggest band since U2 to come mm -hmm. out of Ireland. And it was a, a huge, huge bout of touring for them after that and just nonstop interviews and performances. And uh, that is what she said that was really taxing on her. It was very difficult for, for her to keep up with that pace. She also said that, you know, she was such a young woman at the time when fame mm -hmm. hit. It, that that made it overwhelming too. She was quite shy when she played. She didn't face the audience. She would turn around and have her back and look toward <laughs> the back. So uh, you can imagine uh, just what she overcame in her mm -hmm. life. And so uh, this is one that we're watching in terms of reaction. And uh, we'll see if there are any statements being issued from her children, mm -hmm. who, as I say, are based in Ontario uh, in the upcoming you know minutes and hours mm -hmm. ahead. And either way, I think a lot of fans will be turning to songs like Linger and Dreams and the other ones just to uh, reflect back on yeah. what what she has left us with. Yeah, certainly sad news. All right, Yelna, thank you. Thanks, Andrew.